Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, people, depending on where you are in the world, and of course, what time you have actually decided to watch this video. My name is Chris, and as usual, welcome to my YouTube program. I'm sorry if I look a little uh, watery-eyed. I actually just brought my car to the shop again, lucky me, and uh, walking home, there was so much pollen in the air, or God knows what else is in the air, that uh, I am totally congested and I only had to walk for about 15 minutes which is sad um, this video is of course going to be talking about gold and silver as the title says um, what I find strange is only for the past 40 years have we been off gold and silver as part of our economic system creating a fiat currency and we've been conditioned since then to think that paper dollars is real money. Now it's almost like anything. Even when something's bad, if it becomes a routine of your life, you just get used to it and eventually you accept it. It's almost like a person who was kidnapped and they spend years with this person. Eventually the captor becomes your dependency. So my th question to everybody out there is, who may have thought or may still think that gold and silver is not real money, how is it that throughout history, going all the way back before the Roman Empire, how is it they've managed to have gold and silver as a means of exchange for goods and services, and now all of the sudden, Gold and silver is not as, as it, um, at its true value, especially silver. Because if you research history, even back in the days of the Roman Empire, they were one of the first to actually guarantee the, the uh, silver content of their coin. Now, their coins weren't made of paper, obviously. So why are we conditioned all of a sudden to think paper is okay I've always questioned that before I even knew what it meant I always thought it was weird that here I am having a bunch of pieces of paper with numbers on them and exchanging them for real goods and now that I know the truth about so many things it makes me question it even more so what's happening is there seems to be a time where there could be possible transformation um, I'm not gonna get into that stuff not on this channel anymore um, if you want that information go to my other channel the New World Defenders and we will talk about all that other stuff but a change is obviously coming I mean we see it in the weather we see it in the governments we see it as countries themselves are falling because of debt in record numbers this is a global problem and yet there are still people who want to refuse to believe or at least refuse to make you believe that gold and silver is not real currency if that is the case why is it governments are buying gold and silver are they buying it just because they're dumb and they like shiny metals or is it because they realize that is the true wealth? And maybe that's why our yens and our dollars and our euros and our pesos, they're going up and down constantly on a daily basis. It's everybody, when the dollar's up, everybody goes to the dollar. When the euro's up, everybody goes to the euro. It's, it's basically just going to continue to spiral until one day they can't take advantage of that scheme any for, anymore. So for those of you out there who do not have any gold or silver, I beg you to start doing it before it's too late. All you have to do is research history. And I can understand why now so many people are resistant. Because you're scared. And a lot of times, fear becomes anger, anger becomes frustration, frustration becomes hatred, 
and you lash out. But the only person in the long run you're going to hurt is yourself. So if you're sitting there and you're angry because all you're doing is hearing what is the truth, stop and think about that for a second. Ask yourself this, why am I so angry? Why have I not checked into these things? And what am I going to do to protect my future and my family's future? Because we're uh, coming to a road that if you don't see the cliff as you're driving towards it and veer away or stop, you're going to go over. And like anything in life, once you go over that cliff, there's no turning back. Regret is when you do something, I'm sorry, when you don't do something and you look back and wish you had. Um, people talk about junk silver, copper. These are cheaper metals to, uh, to acquire. Copper, of course, being cheaper than junk silver, because it's, it's junk silver. It's like, for example, 1964 quarters, dimes, half dollars. Um, they're 90% silver. They're not junk anymore. So that label just really doesn't hold meaning. But think about it, guys. Paper is falling. They have conditioned us to believe and fight over the almighty dollar. Like they say, money is the root of all evil. And you could see why wars are started over it. Um, all you have to do is research history, and I, and I implore you guys to please do that. Because if you don't educate yourself, then you have to take the word of what everybody tells you. And sometimes those words are lies. And they're prepared. The elite, the top 2% of the world, they're prepared for everything. And where do you think all that gold and silver is going? If it has no value, shouldn't it be everywhere? It's harder and harder to get. Of course, you could still access it now. There are still sites. You can go to coin shops and still get silver and gold. But there may come a day where there is gonna, it's going to be impossible to find. So take advantage of it while you can. Because gold and silver, whether you want to believe it or not, is real money. We've just been conned by our governments and all governments because it's a global problem. Because it's not just the United States or not just Europe that has fiat currencies. Every nation on the planet has a fiat currency, which is not backed by what? Gold and silver. So think about it, everyone. Doesn't that seem to strike you as odd that even the definition of a fiat currency is any currency that's not backed by gold and silver? It doesn't say not backed by fish and pearls or... Um, houses and uh, oil. It's gold and silver. So I understand that you're used to some things. And being used to things is sometimes okay. But it's also very dangerous because then you become complacent and then you rely on the quote-unquote experts to steer you in the right direction. And if they don't, and history shows all the lies that our governments and all the people, and yet they're still in office. They still have control. So if you think of it logically, there's a reason for that. And like I said, on my other video, um, last night I made a video about all the United States presidents and something very seriously major they have in common. Every single one from George W. Bush to George Washington. So I recommend that you watch it. It's my channel, other channels, the New World Defenders. That's where I'm going to put all the quote unquote conspiracy theory stuff, the truths, etc. It's not conspiracy theory at this point. But they've conditioned us to believe that paper is the way to purchase products. It's not the case because they're selling all of their paper assets. Let's look at what China's doing. And what are they buying? They're not buying pearls. They're not buying street signs. 
they're buying up gold and silver and because there's a finite amount it's gonna get harder and harder to get and you don't want to be one of those people that all of a sudden when the you know what hits the fan and now you're in panic mode and now you're what do I do where do I go look at your family if you have any picture their faces of utter disappointment if you let them down now, do you really want to risk that now I can't force you to do this and I'm not here to do that what I'm here to do is awaken people from the fact that we've been lied to whether you want to believe that or not that is up to you but you are solely responsible for what you choose not only what to do but what not to do I don't make any gains in your life whether you do or don't do something so it, the time for anger the time of everybody fighting the time of making fun of one another that's gotta be gone because one day the inevitable will happen and if you're not prepared you're gonna be in a lot of you're gonna be in a world of trouble and I don't want to see that even the people that have made fun of me I would hate to see anything bad happen to you guys you there might be people out there who may not understand me who may not like me but you know what I care about everybody and I would not like to see my worst enemy starving to death because they didn't prepare because they didn't take it seriously because they decided to do nothing now me speaking on a computer is that saving the world probably not um, I have limited funds in my life I've struggled all of my life so me doing marches on um, Capitol Hill is just realistically something I can't do but that doesn't mean I can't spread the message I have no um, reason other than the fact that I care about people to do this um, I can understand people's pain and anger because what people like I and other people on these YouTube channels do is make you realize that the things that you were taught primarily have been lies and that means you have to question everything who you are and I understand that because I was one of those people and it is a scary thing it's an angry thing when I started hearing all this information it made me nauseous made me angry made me sad made me frustrated but then I let go of all that and I became very spiritually calm the anger isn't there anymore and that's I I can't describe that feeling I wish everybody could feel it and that's why I do this and keep doing it despite the attacks despite the um, people who try and bring me down um, I use it as motivation and as an inspiration because one day you haters out there who are watching me right now with your arms folded saying I can't believe people listen to this moron you know what I hope for nothing but the best because you probably have family too and I guarantee you they would hate to be watching you suffer and be in pain so yes I know this originally started out as gold and silver but as you see if you research everything in that rabbit hole what starts out as simple as coins becomes something more on the grander scheme of what's going on and it all goes hand in hand and I wish even my worst enemy would see that so I hope we will all unite get gold silver copper anything that you can get your hands on while you can because as you see in times of crisis it's us against them and they don't really care about you as much as you want to believe and I would hate to see you find out the hard way because that means you'll lose everything and in the end that should be something to get angry at not people like me and other people that try and save you because they care they don't get anything out of it other than knowing that they did their job so I hope you guys will subscribe I hope you guys will listen and please check out my other um, channel the New World Defenders and join the cause and unite peace to everybody